Hi, I'm George Laird. I'm the Principal Mechanical Engineer at Predictive Engineering. It's, it's my company. We're a small consultancy and we specialize in mechanics and thermal fluids. How this project came about is that the lead scientist is Dr. Catherine Butler. She's under health and safety and what they're looking at is the functionality of respirator masks and how they fit against the face and this is sort of common. We all know there's different faces out there but in the respirator business they just sort of use just a couple of common sizes. You don't really ever get a good fit and this is why they came to us to look at doing this transient flow study through the mask because what they wanted to see is how do we optimize the mask for different faces. The key component was having a good CFD simulation. It's one of the focuses of CF design and I've seen it. I've seen it, the product evolve over the last 15 years is that it does a fantastic job of taking very rough geometry and creating a workable CFD model. We had very, I don't how do you say it? We had very crude geometry for the face. It came in from scanned data. And I want to preface this. I'm an experienced user. I've been using it for years. And I looked at the geometry that we received on it, and I, I had estimated, and I had it all set up in a Gantt chart, three weeks. And uh, we started working on it, bringing it into the program, and meshing it. And we had it done in about two and a half days. It was, it was quite, the client was amazingly happy. One of the great things I really like about Autodesk CFD is the ease of learning. And this is a phrase that, that until you actually try it, it, it won't really resonate. And what I would use an example is I'll take one of my staff engineers that's good with structural mechanics, never touched CFD. After a day of going through the tutorials, which are excellent, he was able to do a project basic flow analysis over structure. It was a wind load analysis for a radar wall barrier at an airport. And they wanted to know the exact force loading on the wall. And he was able to take the model, optimize it, change the design, done, three days. The only reason why we use Autodesk CFD is very simply because it makes us profitable. We're an engineering consultancy, and so we live on, on, on getting the job done. It has to be done right, it has to be done correctly, we have to meet our clients' expectations. So when you're talking engineering mechanics, if you don't have the right answer, you don't have anything. And so that is the number one reason why we use Autodesk CFD. Yes, it's easy to use. Yes, it's fast. Yes, it gets the job done. It helps us you know, meet budget, exceed budget. Um, but at the end of the day, it gets us the right answer. From what I see in the industry, in my business, it's really 90% of what you need for thermal fluids is there in CF Design. It does a great job. It's done everything I've ever needed to do as far as what I see in consulting. And that is the reason why we've been using Autodesk CFD for the last 15 years.